Hey, my name is Lance. The Tornado Tower is an open-ended project where the goal is to build a structure that's at least three crop sticks tall, can hold at least 10 pounds of weight at the top, and stays upright even during a big gust of wind. So for this project, there are no step-by-step -step instructions. It's up to you to design the tower however you want. But there are two key things that are going to help you make your structure as strong and sturdy as possible. One is to use this stick and block building technique. By attaching craft sticks to the side of the block and building upward, you'll be able to make a much stronger structure than if you just glued the craft sticks edge to edge. And the second thing is to make sure to incorporate triangles or trusses into your design. And this is because triangles endure compression forces a lot better than square shapes. So for example, here I have a square and when I compress it, the square can flatten out into a diamond without that much effort. By contrast, this triangle is not going to flatten out into another shape unless one of the craft sticks actually breaks. So a tower that's comprised of just square shapes could probably hold quite a bit of weight, but if you incorporate triangles, I wouldn't be surprised if your design could withstand 50 pounds of weight or more. When you're ready to test, you can put something flat on top of the tower, like wood or cardboard, and then start piling on weight to see how much it can hold. And if you want to be able to measure your results more accurately, you can first put the tower on top of a bathroom scale and then start adding weight or even just pushing down with your hands. And for the tornado wind test, just set the tower down and create a big gust of wind by waving a bin lid or a big sheet of cardboard at it. Now I know this isn't exactly representative of how a real structure would need to be built to withstand the sustained winds of a tornado plus all the flying debris, but it's still a pretty good proxy to make sure that the structure is wide and stable and also not too top heavy. As you can see, my design still needs a little bit of work. Okay, and that's it for this project. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.